Welcome back to another episode of CHP Sports with Kenny to my left and myself, Anthony. We are back after a super exciting uh, NFL playoff weekend. That is the thing to talk about this today. I went three or four in my picks. Kenny, I think you went two or four with your picks. I think. You kept sending me yours, and I'm like, damn, who did I pick? Because I know you picked an upset that you got. I, pick, I, pick, right? I think, I, think I, I, pick, I picked the 49ers for sure, and I think you took the Packers. Yeah. And I yeah, that think was a, we both that picked the Bills. Yeah, we both picked the Bills. Yep. And I picked the Rams for sure. Yeah, we both picked Rams. Yeah. And we both picked Bengals, yeah. I think. So. Yeah. So, yeah, so crazy, crazy weekend. Let's take it in order. We started off the weekend with Bengals against the Titans. Uh, Titans played well. Kept Burrow pretty much in check. Burrow did not play his best game. He still played well. He didn't play his best game. Yeah. And he got sacked and like get, nine times, right? Yeah, that, that, that they, their, their, their offensive line didn't really protect him at all. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I think we saw the effects of a good defensive line in that game and the Rams game, for sure. It's just oh, 100%, you know, how yeah. impactful that can be. Like, how do you beat Brady? That's like the one way you beat Brady, right? And he's still in the yeah. one. Yeah, make him uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll get to that game in a second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, you get, you know, Tannehill made a couple bad turnovers, and you get a couple field goals yeah. out of him, and that's really the difference in the game here. Um, I think we saw that pattern in a couple games, right? Special teams play, turnovers, right? It It's so much more magnified in the playoffs. And I think, you know, starting at that game, that's that's what we saw. I mean, it's a cool story, though. The Bengals are kind of like the – I don't want to call them a Cinderella story because they have some real talent, and I think they're legit. But it's the Bengals, right? Like, they're really not that good <laughs> most of the time. And now they have this new quarterback and this wide receiver and their defense is playing tough. And yeah, I mean, cool. It's a different team, right? And I know yeah. you're a Cleveland fan, yeah. right? But it, it's a I'll, different I'm team. The, in the I'm all aboard the Bengals bandwagon. I, I like Joe, yeah, Joe like, Cool. I think he's great. I think he's great for the sport. I think he's going to be around for a long time. And, uh, you know, everyone knows like Tennessee, Green Bay, Kansas City, Buffalo, they're all going to be there. The Bucks. This is that new team, right? And it adds a little different flavor, yeah. I think, to the playoffs for sure. No, I agree. I, I agree. I think it's always nice to get some new blood in there and give people mm-hmm. something else to root for, or at least something different to see, right? You know, you a lot of what you're getting with the other teams. Not that they're not exciting or fun to root for. Yeah, they're great. But it's just like in the past, how many years that that's been the same five or six teams? Shuffle them around, throw in another team here or there. That's been that's been the good teams, right? They all have mostly one yeah. thing in common. Elite quarterback play, good defense, right? It's just that's how you win. Yeah. No. Um, so so that Bengals was an win. Interesting game. Yeah, I yeah. don't really have much else to say about that one. Um, nah. So let's move on to the the, the Packers against the 49ers. Uh, I'll be honest. I watched the beginning and the end. I did not watch the middle because it was so boring. That. Yeah, similar. I only I, I, caught I a little the beginning and. Yeah, I was at like a kid's gymnastics place birthday party, and then I tried to catch some of the end of it. The guy at the the gymnastics party was giving me updates, and I knew it was a close game. Uh, I did see the end of the first half when, I mean, they were up 7 nothing. Rodgers throws a great pass to Aaron Jones. I'm thinking he's going to score, and he doesn't get in. And then they go to kick the field goal, and they get blocked. Like, <laughs> just back to special teams, right? So that they, they would have had 13 there, but they only had 10, and they lost 13 to 10. So, and there were some other bad special teams plays in the game, from what I understand. Uh, yeah, they, they had that, that block, and then the, the big play was they had a punt blocked, basically, out of their, coming out of their own yeah. end zone. They got picked up in return for a touchdown, and that was really Yeah, that's a huge game play. Changing. I mean, as my brother put it, he's like, if I'm the Green Bay's defense, I'm furious. I give up six points to their offense, and we lose. Right, yeah. we've got Aaron Rodgers. So, you yeah, know, their, I, their offense didn't do much. They really didn't. They they exactly. did, but they also they did come down. You know, they did enough at the end of the game. Debo Samuel, I know, did a lot during the part of the game I didn't watch. 
Um, you know, but he was great at the end. Like when they needed to drive at the end to get the game winning field goal, they got it. Right. Like to me, that's the thing. Like when they needed to have it, they got it. You know, and yeah. Jimmy G, like I know people, I, I don't think he played that well in the middle part of the game from what I heard. But at the beginning, like he started 0 for 3, and that was with two, like two or three drops. Like his first three passes were right on point, and there were at least two drops. Like you hit guys right, right here that you got two guys dropping. You know, so to me, it's always like, all right, well, don't don't dog the guy too much when he's throwing things right here. Yeah. Um, you know, and he did enough to win, right? Like I don't know how much. Yeah, and they, and they won a game, and you know, I don't think Rodgers is back there next year, but we'll see. But uh. I had an interesting debate with someone today. Let, let me know what you think. I'm going to tell you a brief little story. I wonder if it's the same question that I was going to ask you. Go, go for it. I don't, I don't know. But the guy, guy I know on the interwebs, he was like, Rodgers stinks in the playoffs. He's a regular season hero, right? And I'm like, so I'm like, hmm, let me see what his stats are in the playoffs. Because I was just interested. I'm like, maybe their stats are terrible. 22 games, 5,800 yards passing. 45 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, right? And I'm like, 100.1, like, passer rating. So I'm like, that's pretty damn That's, like, elite. <laughs> that's, like, as good as you can get. Right. And he said, well, that, well, his numbers are better in season. So I'm like, all right, let me look at his in-season numbers. He averages, in 16 games, 4,000 yards, 32 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. So I'm like, it's pretty much the same, dude. It's not that much different. Now, He's like, yeah, but he's lost four NFC title games, blah, blah, blah. And which I agree, he, he's not having these epic drives that we saw that in that other game we'll talk about, right? And I agree there. Like, I think he's ha- he's been kind of lackluster in times when you think he should be the man, right? But then I'm like, he's had shitty wide receivers. He's had terrible defenses. He's had, you know, there's only so much you can do with your talent, I think. Even this year, he has Devontae Adams. The next best receiver had like 40 catches as the wide receivers, right? So, like, there's not a lot around him um, as far as weapons, right? And I'm like, put him on Kansas City, probably going to do a lot of the same stuff that, that Mahomes is doing. I think Mahomes is an elite talent with great weapons as well, right? So, it was an interesting talk. But uh, what do you think about that? Do you think he's under delivered in the playoffs? Statistically, mm-hmm. It doesn't show it, but in a way, I could see what the guy was saying. I mean, I mean, I think I think you almost have to argue yes. I, I yes, I think in a vacuum, you look at his stats, you go, well, those are those are really good stats. Like, yes, his interception yeah. percentage up is, is up a little bit compared to the regular season. A little, yeah, a little. But you know, but not still so thirteen much really like, in twenty-two games, yeah. But I think what, like what's if you his told me, the playoffs, yeah. it's like, I forget the record. The playoffs, I think it's like eleven and ten or something like that. Or yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty average. Right? It's like pretty fifty. My, my yeah, my thing with the interceptions, I'm like, look, when you're in the playoffs, you're not playing the Jags, right? You're playing really good teams. Yeah. So to see those stats again, pretty close to what his season is, yeah, maybe a couple more picks, but overall stat wise, the argument doesn't hold up. But performance. You know, yes, he has. A, my my thing was like, it is a team game, right? And he can only do so much. But I I do yeah. agree. Yeah, to a, yeah, so, to an extent. So I guess my thing is, like the game last night, I think he could have played better. Like I think he missed some throws. Like he had a couple three and outs late in the game where he did not have great throws. Um, where yeah. he, it's like if if I'm looking at the guy that's supposed to be the MVP, I would say you have to do more. Um, yeah. Has he been on teams that have not been built very well around him? Correct. I, I would say yeah. he, he has been on some teams with no weapons or, you know, few weapons, defenses that have not held up. You know, at the same time, it's, it's hard to look at a game like last night where, you know, or two nights ago when, when we were filming this on a Monday night, where, you know, what was the, I don't even remember what the final score was. 13, what, 10, last night? Yeah, oh, there is, yeah, 13-10. 13-10. 13-10, right? So, yeah. so if, if you ask the Packers fans, right, hey, your defense, you're going to hold them. They're going to score 13 points. Should Aaron Rodgers, yeah. with the weapons he has, you have the, arguably the best wide receiver in, in the NFL. Yeah, and top two. Some other people. Right? Yeah. But you have a good running back, right? Should you be able to score more than 13 points? I think the answer would be yes. 
right? It's, yeah. It's hard for me to look. It's not like he he lost like forty two to four, you know, forty eight. His defense never showed up, and they just it became a shootout, and he could. It's thirteen to ten. Like yeah, the conditions stunk, but it's also a home game. You know that you know the conditions are going to stink. Um, it's Green Bay in January. Like of course they're going to stink. So. Yeah. You know, yeah, he's eleven and ten in the playoffs. If you you could make the argument that he's a little better record than that if you count bye weeks as wins, which you effectively can. Um, if, you get, yeah. if you earn the bye, you can count it as a win. Um, you know, but I, he he's going to have a very strange legacy. I, I was going to ask you, do you, is Green Bay the most underperforming franchise for the quarterbacks they've had over the last twenty years? I mean, you had Favre and Rodgers, uh, and you have one Super Bowl. Both of them in their primes. Uh, did, you have did Favre win one? Bowl. Did Favre win one? He might have. Maybe two. Yeah, maybe they have two. But it, yeah. like it's, I know they lost to the Broncos the one year. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I don't know. But you, you know what I, I mean? Favre. Like every, every year they're supposed to go. And every year they get knocked out in like the first round, the first time they play in the playoffs. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah, just. I mean, the year the Giants beat them, right? At home in the NFC championship, they lost four. So then I'm like, but they were in four NFC championships. That's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, no, they're, they're a good organization, yeah. but at the same time, like for yeah. where expectations get continually set, given their quarterbacks or right? any yeah. other organization, if you say, Hey, you're gonna have Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers for like 20 odd years. I think the, uh, yeah, you'd expect maybe three, four, five, three, titles. four. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm looking it up now. Packers playoff history. I, I think Five Favre games. won one. Let's see here. So, I'm trying to think. Super Bowl. Well, they lost the Super Bowl in '98. That was to the Broncos. Yeah, that was the Broncos one. They I feel like they're beat right there. The, they beat the Steelers in 2011 for the Super Bowl. That was, so that's their one. That was Rodgers. Favre had to get one, didn't he? Yeah. They Favre. won in '97. That would have been him with Favre. Yes. Right? The year but, but now you, you you're basically stretching it out to 24. Yeah. 20. He went back. Years. He. I think he went years. back to back. Yeah, he won it the one year and lost to the Broncos the next year. That that was it. And, um, Not quite back. Yeah, to he me. has one. Yeah. yeah, so two Super Bowls between the, the two of them, one one for each. Which yeah, you, know, I mean, you you could argue on one hand is is good for an organization, right? Over twenty five years, you get two Super Bowls. That's not that's not Browns yeah. would kill for that. We haven't even been to one. Yeah. But on yeah. the other hand, <laughs> but, but the Browns hand, haven't like, had Marv and Rogers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's an, it's no, an I mean, interesting. It, it is a good question. Yeah, for sure, and it. You know, I'd, I'd have to look to see, like, what other franchises have had that elite of quarterbacks and not won much, right? Um, yeah, it's, it's strange. Because you look at, like – I mean, they're San in the Fran playoffs had, every year. I mean, they're in the yeah, playoffs like every Like, San, San Francisco had Montana and Young, right? They won a bunch of Super Bowls, four or five, right between the two of them, um, within 10 years, 15 years. You know, and then Dallas had Aikman. Dallas had the two uh, in a row. They won a few. Then after that, they haven't been in years since the nineties. No, they they right? fallen apart. They they stink now. Yeah, yeah, they're they're like, oof. So yeah, that is a good question. I mean, and then it's kind of like, what do you what do you see as successful? Right? Is it is it being a, a it, perennial playoff team? Uh, you know, get how many NFC championships? Right? Remember the Eagles went on that run where they were in a bunch of NFC championships that they kept losing, losing, but then they finally made it to one year and they lost in the Super Bowl. And then they got back and they won the Super Bowl against the same team, which is crazy to me. Um, so, yeah, it's a, that's a good question. And I, I, yeah, I was no. just being a little – even with today's debate, I was just being a little devil's advocate, right? Well, is he that bad in the playoffs, right? Numbers-wise, maybe not. Um, yeah, no, I'm glad you looked him up because I didn't know his numbers. So. Yeah, but that's, yeah, I mean, it kind of good. sparked some interest. Yeah. It's good. I think it's one of those things where you, you look at the numbers, you go, well, they look pretty good. And then – you watch some of the, like I said, like his late, his late game over the weekend, it just didn't look, 
It's like nothing Eddie Moore, he like looked three and outs. He looks so like checked out half the time to me. He really yeah. does. But the um, thing is, he I, looks I checked do... out like half the time, no matter what. So yeah, but he's. I feel like he's just looked extra checked out. <laughs> I don't know because you look at his stats this year, and you're like, oh my god, like they're insane again. Like this, he's he's thrown like. 90 interceptions in his whole career, and he has like 450 touchdowns. It's the best ever yeah, touchdown to interception. It makes no sense. It, and he, you, again, you think with that kind of play that they're in the Super Bowl most years. Yeah, he had this year, he had 37 touchdowns and four picks. <laughs> last year, so 40, sorry. listen to this. Last year, he had 48 touchdowns and five interceptions last year. That's absolutely insane. And he's had a couple years almost like that. And overall, 449 and 93. Like Brady, put it in perspective, Brady has like 200 and some interceptions. He has 93. Yeah, Where do you see him going? Since you see, you said you don't see, see him staying in Green Bay. So here's, <laughs> here's my hopes <laughs> and dreams. Denver. Denver is looking to sign Hackett, who is the offensive coordinator of the Green Bay Packers. Um, I can't see any other reason why they'd be signing him other than to bring on Rodgers with him. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Uh, Otherwise, what are you getting out of that? Other than maybe he knows Russell Wilson. I don't know. The other guy they're interviewing is Quinn, I believe, who also has ties to Wilson. So the two guys they're interviewing – have ties to the two quarterbacks that are going to be free this year. So, look, in my dreams, yeah, do we get another Peyton Manning scenario where he plays two, three more years, gets to the Super Bowl because he has a ton of weapons in Denver that don't get, ever get used? <laughs> They're like, yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, so he, that would so be one choice. Question. Let's say he goes there. Mm-hmm. Do you, we see – where does Russell Wilson go? Does he go – because like, it doesn't seem like he's going to stay in Seattle. There's, they're in a rebuild. He's not in a position to want to stick out a rebuild. He's too old. Does he go to be shocked if he, I, I wouldn't be shocked if he goes there or Pittsburgh. Um, I know you wouldn't want to see that. No. But, but, but all right, so, so here's, the, here's the question or, or the observation. So let's say let's say Rodgers goes to Denver, play Denver, you know, just for – Imaginary yeah. scenario. And Wilson goes to either Pittsburgh or Indianapolis. How hard is it to get out of the AFC? It's, I mean, it's insane at that point. It, it mean, changes got, the whole league. It, it changes the yeah. whole league. Whoever Wilson goes to, one of those two teams is going to be good. We know, we know yeah. Indianapolis is already good. They just need more consistent quarterback play, right? Yeah. Pittsburgh is always going to be well coached and just be tough because they're Pittsburgh, All right? So they'll get immediately better, All right? So that team, those teams are going to be playoff contenders. Like I think Indy's like almost Super Bowl contender if they get Wilson. Right? Yeah. Denver is immediately Super Bowl contender. Yeah, I think with KC, the weapons they have in their defense, yeah. KC, KC, the, Buffalo. The Bills. You got to assume <laughs> Chargers take take the leap with Herbert. Right? The Raiders were in you the can playoffs. Make the argument, <laughs> You, you can make the argument that the Browns will be better, assuming Mayfield's not hurt. And we get back to the form we had last year, where we were, you know, we, we, almost, we should have beaten the Chiefs, right? The yeah, Titans, the, the Titans, and the Bengals, and the Bengals. And you still have like, like Baltimore lurking out there, like yeah, Lamar Jackson. <laughs> you got to imagine, like I mean, keep in mind, Baltimore probably makes the playoffs and plays if Lamar doesn't get hurt in that Browns game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's. That is crazy. Like the AFC the becomes NFL. like impot like you, yeah. you it's gonna be insane just to make the playoffs in the AFC. And then it's and, a and all the, I mean, who, yeah. NFC, who do you have playing quarterback? Dak? No one. I mean, you got Jalen Hurts and Dak. And <laughs> I don't even know who else is. You're gonna it? have you're gonna Green, have some team Green. that's just gonna get stopped in the Super Bowl is what's gonna happen. Yeah. Breeze is gone. You got, I mean, you got, uh, what's his name for the Rams? He, Stafford is solid. Stafford, uh, Jimmy, yeah. Yes. You got your Jimmy G's of the world, uh, you know, a couple guys like that. But other than that, I mean, 
Right? Not much going on in the NFC. Yeah. And, no. and I, I think out of the teams in the NFC, the only one I see having a chance really is the Rams. Um, yeah. Personally, because they're D-line. Yeah, well, that's just because they're, they're such a solidly built team, right? Because they, yeah. I mean, they just they threw away the next four years of draft picks. But Correct. But it's like, you know, if they get to the Super Bowl, it holds well, right? Fixes everything. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's win now, and that's that's the name of the game. Um, yeah. All right, so let's let's jump to Sunday. Uh, the first game was what, what was the first so, game? Uh, Buccaneers. The Bucks and the Rams. The, yeah, yeah, Bucks the and Rams. Rams. Where the Rams of. decided to do their best to browns their way to a loss, uh, and then managed to. Matt Stafford was like, "Screw this." picking up this entire team and just dragging you to a win, basically. Yeah. I was I almost turned the game off because I'm like, all right, this this is over. It's the Falcons Patriots Super Bowl. It's the same thing. I was gonna turn the game off. Almost the same exact score. And here comes Mr. Tom, right? I mean just crazy to think about it. He throws a perfect pass. They score, they get a fumble, they get the ball back. Next thing you know it's a seven point game. Then he ties the game. And you're like, what is happening? How, they were just losing 27 to three. And the defense looked so dominant. I'm like, there's no way on this earth I would have bet my whole entire family that that, that wouldn't have happened. I almost would have lost my family. Um, I mean, it was crazy. Hang on. What, what, what was Cam Akers doing in that game? I mean, talk about like an all time bad game. For as well as he played he went the from, last week, yeah. he was terrible. Yeah, and he went from like this freakazoid who came back from Achilles surgery to the guy that's fumbling and fumbling the game away. I mean, that was bad. It really was. And, I mean, I felt bad for him. <laughs> he clearly doesn't want to fumble, right? But, man, he – so such big turnovers there. And then Brady just makes you pay for it. He's just an assassin. Like, it's crazy. And he was getting just annihilated the whole first half. I mean, and, you I mean, and I were texting really, during the game about him having to yeah. basically get rid of the ball in, like, one second. Yeah, yeah, no The pass rush of the Rams problem. was, like, immediately, like, it was a staff the ball, and Aaron Donald's, like, in his face. Uh, yeah, almost immediately. He's, he's, he's missing two of his best ride receivers now, right? They're both, you know, Antonio Brown quit, and uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, jeez. Throwing a blank. God, Godwin. He, Godwin, yeah. I was going to say Godfrey. Godfrey. Like, That's not it. Yeah, Godwin's out. Brown's gone. All he's got left is Gronk and Evans, right? And he was just throwing to both of them as much as he could. And God, it's crazy. I'm like, this guy's going to win again. <laughs> but the Rams did have some time. You uh, know, somehow, Cooper Cup was wide open. <laughs> the best receiver in the league this year. Wide open. It, most I, insane defense I've ever seen. I don't understand it. I I mean I kind of get it. It's it's one of those things where you. I mean I kind of get it. At the very least, you're you're. So we can talk about this in the context of what the Bills did. At least with this defense, yeah. you're saying, "Hey, offense, you have to make a play." Like you, yeah. The, the throw, the two throws by Stafford were phenomenal throws. Like the, yeah, yeah. the one he that put them down at the ten, like he's got a guy about to smash him when he throws. Let's go that ball, and it's a yeah. perfect, you know, perfect, you know, throw to Cup running down the field. Now, would I personally leave Cooper Cup one on one with a safety instead of maybe a corner and like blitz the safety instead? Yeah, I probably would do a different style of blitz. But yeah. um, I mean, I, I at but least get the idea. Yeah, but instead they had a safety cover in Cooper Cup. Yeah, who I Cooper mean, look, Cup just ran right by. Just, he just ran right by him. <laughs> and look, they, look, the, the guy is the best stats in the league for a reason. He gets open, right? But, I mean, come on. Like, is that our best defense we have there? Like, woof. Yeah, it's tough, though. I mean, and then, then the last game, I just can't even explain that game, but we'll talk about that now. Yeah. yeah. So, well, so let me just say this. I, I'm super happy for Stafford. He's taken a lot of flack for a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. He's so getting I was a really chance, see, yeah, yeah. I was, I was really happy to see him kind of them, them to win it on his arm and him making a play Two a couple plays. I look at, I look at it this way. Like imagine if, if Barry Sanders would have got a chance to like 
go to a Super Bowl contending team for a few years after leaving Detroit, right? It's good to see him get out and, and compete and play in the playoffs and get some wins. It, it's definitely cool to see because I've always been a fan of the guy. Right? The guy is yeah. a great quarterback, you know? So Yeah, he's, he's really good. And that brings us to what you call the greatest football game you've ever seen. Uh, Bills yeah, I, against I, Chiefs. I can't see it. wins in OT. I'm trying to think like of other games that I just – I had no words for that game. I've never seen anything like that. Um, and I can't understand what the Bills were thinking at the end, but not kicking a ball in play, which would take off more time, and then playing the, the 20 yards off the ball defense, which we saw in the Dallas game. Remember in the Dallas playoff game against the 49ers when they let them come right down the field and almost score? Yeah. Yep. Same defense. Stop playing that defense when the team only needs like 40 yards to kick a field goal because they ran yep. two plays. And they have and timeouts. Like, so they can. They had two, like, two timeouts. Try, try, like, playing the edges doesn't really matter because they can just call no. timeouts. Yeah, I didn't understand any of that. But first off, kick off the ball, let it roll around, smash the dude in the ground. Get they would have probably only had eight or nine seconds left at that point. Yeah. Now it's yeah. really tough. Yeah. And then don't play that defense. Like I got I don't understand that defense. Like well, and, I don't and so here's the thing. Remember Kansas City in, in situations where it's like a typically like a jump ball, like Hail Mary type type of situation, they like to throw underneath the hill and put blockers out in front of him, which is what they, yeah. how he scored a couple of years ago. on like some, like some crazy play like that. Like that's it's exactly what they've done yeah. in the past, yeah. you know, and yep. they do the same thing against 20 yards because they're playing 15 yards off, off the ball. It's what are you doing? And like, how so you do you leave Kelsey wide open? Like you don't ship them. You don't put, you don't like they, they're running all the receivers to the other side of the field. And so, and you're playing one guy out wide on his side. On, who's playing. On there's best tight end with the top two tight end in the league. <laughs> like who who else is going to come out that way, buddy? No one. They have yeah. to get the ball out quick. Like why are you rushing for? Right, they, the ball has to come out fast. There's not enough time. You you have yeah. your rush hasn't gotten there with four all night long. So just rush three and drop someone else in the coverage. I, 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 it's it's my like it's mind boggling the defense they played. Um, mind boggling. Right, yeah, and so it's unfortunate. It. They should have won the game. Like, yeah. if you I, score with thirteen I, seconds left, I thought left, they won. I thought they won the first time, <laughs> and then Kansas City went down, and I'm like, "Oh shoot, Kansas City won!" And then Buffalo comes back, thirteen seconds left. I'm like, "Ah, oh, the game's over." Well, nope, it, I couldn't understand it. Well, the thing was, I, then, I told my 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 brothers and my father this is that Kansas City secondary trash, just trash, awful. Right, and then they go. Oh, the oh, guy got hurt. There's another guy out. Yeah, they were just yeah, beat up. But yeah. they, they were who, the people that were playing were just not very not good for an not NFL good. playoff caliber team, right? But not against Josh Allen, that's for sure. Yeah, and not against that Buffalo Bills team, right? Obviously, they're great that athletes, guy. and they would smoke me in anything. But the point yeah. is, at that in that game, they were bad. Um, but they were so bad, they let Bill score so quickly. Whereas, if you contrast that with the Bills, the Bills were good enough to kind of just let the Kansas City wear them down. So they never really stopped them, but they kind of held them up long enough to make themselves really tired for overtime. Yeah. Right? If they would have just played the Kansas City defense, which was like the Ole defense, let them score in two plays every time. Yeah. My thing right? is, too, like, like you, have, you have the – they're the number one defense in the league. That was the number one defense in the league that that happened to with 13 seconds left. You have to trust your defense more – than putting them in some to prevent you from winning defense. Like, yes, because that's what the prevent does. You see it does, happen all, all the time. You see it happen all the time. Why do guys keep doing it? I don't understand it. So, I so don't. here's my reasoning. Name, name the biggest difference making player on Kansas City's team in that game. Terry Kill. Yeah, it, it's Terry Kill by by a, by a, a country mile. Yeah, he is insane. Fundamentally affects everything the defense does. Right, the the play he scored on, where he was running an underneath crossing route, and catches it and just out sprints everyone, 
Like yeah. four guys had angles on him, and he's just like, no, I'm just faster than all of you by a lot. Like it's not even like right. I'm just barely faster. I'm I'm just way faster. I said he makes um, world class athletes look slow. Like it's yeah, <laughs> it's weird. I mean, I mean, he's running and like the he's he's a guy that has a t- like the safety or corner has an angle against any other guy in the league. The guy's gonna make the play. And Tyreek Hill is so fast. He's giving them the peace sign before he's even past the guy. He's he like, I know I'm going to outrun you. Like, it's not even going to be he close. Goes. That's what we say. I mean, he so, so he, <laughs> he fundamentally just... changed. He fundamentally changes how every defense has to play the Kansas City Chiefs. Right? Yeah. It's why thing is like open all the time. Yeah, I, I'm saying in that situation, though, make, make Kelsey beat me, right? Let's roll your coverage to Hill. Put two, three guys over there. Well, as my brother said, he would play. He would have played man against Hill in zone everywhere. Yeah, else. yeah, like some sort of way where you, you still got eyes on Hill no matter what, right? And if if Kelsey catches it, he's not breaking a an eighty yarder, right? He, that's not like or, not to or say the twenty five yards are, he's he got at the end of the game. Yeah, the guy's a phenomenal athlete. Let's not let's not get that twisted. But he's not Tariq Hill, who could take a two-yard catch and run forever, and yeah. no one's catching him. He's not that. Yeah, which makes he's a phenomenal, yeah. phenomenal tight end, but he's not that. So my thing is, though, leaving, giving them twenty yards of play for two plays, like that's why they yeah, lost. And then they, yeah, they, it's terrible. The defense doesn't work. But that was, was the young. single greatest. I don't even. I have no. I don't even know how to explain that game. It to me, it's the greatest football game I've ever seen. Um, I don't know any other game that was better than that. I can't. I kept trying to think of like, I'm thinking like the Tennessee Rams Super Bowl, and you know at the, at yeah. the goal line, he's right there, yeah. right? Awesome game. There's been some exciting Super Bowls, the Brady comeback game, you know, crazy finish. Uh, the the Seahawks and Patriots one where they tried to throw and got picked in the end zone. You know, there's been some good ones, but I just never seen that like that Back elite forth. quarterback play back and forth. Mahomes and Allen are the future of the league. Let's be They're honest. They're amazing. They are I mean, Josh unreal. Allen is a – somehow Patrick Mahomes is, like, untackable. Like, no one can somehow grab yeah. him. The dude's, like, so made shifty. out of Quicksilver. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he, he, like, just, like, does a little sh- shimmy. And, like, guys are, like, just falling on everyone. It's like, what did he do? Yeah. And, and, and then Allen's, like, a Mack truck. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, I, was, I was telling my wife, I was like, the dude's 6'4", 6'5", 230. And can move like he's phenomenally he's athletic, yeah. right? He's just yeah, and he can throw lasers, as you put it, right? Just lasers, yeah, lasers. Um, like he has an absolute cannon for an arm. That that one, that sixty yarder he threw in the air looked like he just like flicked it. Yeah, twin. Come on. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So great, great job. I mean, there were there were some passes in that game. We're just like, how how did they make that pass into that window? Pass that defender by both quarterbacks. Uh, it was a joy to watch. Um, yeah. And I feel after the game, to ask this question. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have a question for you, too. Should overtime be revised? I thought a lot about it. We saw a lot of the knee jerk reaction on social media, right? Like, overtime sucks, blah, blah, blah. But, it, it, like, I've seen the other argument, like, don't let them score. <laughs> right? Like, so I see that side too. Like Buffalo, you played the same crappy defense in overtime. Stop them. You're the number one defense in the league. Hold them to a field so, goal. Do anything. So, Give yourself a chance. So he, Go ahead. here's devil's here's devil's advocate to that. Yeah. Right? During the 60 minutes you were playing, both play, teams played equally, right? So both teams, Correct. both defenses were equally bad, right? Or, or good, Correct. however, you, whatever the game is, right? Shouldn't why does one team be at a disadvantage? Like, like, cause let's say one defense is tired at the end of the game. Why are they at a random disadvantage that they immediately have to go out onto the field again? Yeah. Right. Due to a no, I, look, I see, I see that. I see that side too. I wanted to, I want to see overtime start as it's whatever, five minutes, six minutes long. And we just play, right. Play it out. And then if it gets, I don't like the college stuff where they put the ball on no, the oh twenty yard line. It's, I think that's it's too terrible. weird. Yeah. yeah, play the game out. Play for another six minutes or whatever you want it to be. See who wins, right? Then if it's tie, 
all right, then we do something different, right? Then it's yeah. maybe first score wins, or maybe we go to that college type style where you line up from the 20 and see who wins. Yeah, could it be different for sure? I think you just keep playing, right? Not sudden death, not, you know. Yeah, I, I would say. Put it, so I would say this for the regular season, I like the current rules. I think for the regular season, it works because the. the there's a, two things you need. To, I think you need to worry about in the regular season. One is obviously, especially with the 17 game season, each game means a little bit less, like enough less where yeah. if you have a tie, it's not as big a deal. It's whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of whatever. Like you saw that with Pittsburgh this year. I mean, they got in. Um, mm-hmm. So that's one thing you do have to worry about get, given that there's an extra game longevity of the players and like how much wear and tear. So you don't want the game going for like forever. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then also, like, if we remember back to that stupid tie game between Pittsburgh and Detroit, which was awful. I mean, it was awful. god-awful football. Yeah. Right? You can, there's always a chance that you have that game in the regular season, which we had, which, like, everyone was just praying for that game to end. Like, please, someone yeah. win. Right? And, like, it was a mercy when they ended it in a tie. Yeah. It was so, the, you know, that devil's advocate, like, that's the other side. Like, you don't want a game like that going on forever because it's just horrible. Um. Neither team won to win that game. In the playoffs, though, it's like you you need a winner no matter what. So you need a winner. And so the fact that I think I was reading the Pat Mc, I watched the, a part of the Pat McAfee, McAfee show here on YouTube today, and they were saying like of the games you know decided overtime in the playoffs, ten of eleven have been won by the team that won the toss. They got the yeah. Win. Like so, it's I like mean, it's... that's like not random. Like that's super biased. Right? Yeah, maybe so, maybe that's a. Maybe that's a good compromise, right? Do the do the season the same way, and in playoffs, somebody has to win, right? So why not play out a full X amount of minutes? I don't know what that time. Yeah, is, X but... amount of time. Like make it ten minutes, yeah. nine minutes, whatever, whatever time you feel like is fair. That yeah. like would be, you know, if if a team goes on like you know what's the longest sort of drive you see like eight minutes. Like even then, yeah. if a team goes on and does like an eight minute drive and scores a touchdown, like it gives the other team like a minute and a half. Like as we saw last yeah. night, that's enough for like seven scores. So yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. that, that would be my compromise. You know, at least at least do that for one period. And then, you know, after that, I guess. Yeah, I can uh, definitely, like after, said, after I can see, that, I can um, see, I can see both sides, but I definitely agree. Like in the playoffs, let them just keep playing, right? Put it, whatever it may be, six, eight. Uh, what's a quarter now? Is it? 15. How long is a quarter? 15, right? So obviously 15 we're not going to play another quarter, but yeah, maybe it's eight minutes, right? Kick off just like any any other, you know, you got eight minutes to figure it out. <laughs> Nobody wins in. All right, now we need to, to decide this thing, right? Um, yeah, interesting topic, though. And, and, yeah, you want to see Josh Allen get another touch of the ball. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate because he, he played him. And, I mean, hats off to great Gabriel Davis, first guy ever with yeah. four touchdown receptions in one game. 200 yards on game. eight receptions, 201. Yeah. I think it's insane. Crazy game. All right, so let's, my uh, let's, question let's, let's you, make our picks real my, quick. Oh, yeah, go ahead. My question to you real quick. How, as a Browns fan, after watching Josh Allen, how, how painful is that draft at this point? Where you had not one chance, you had two chances to draft him before he got picked by the Bills. I, just um, seeing him now. Who, like who at the time, people, the people said he was a little raw – Right at the time, maybe he wasn't as polished, maybe as a Mayfield. Let me. Let I, me I don't. I don't mind the pick. Right, right now it looks terrible. Right, because he's developed yeah. into what he is. Right. Um, yeah, it's armchair quarterback right now. Right. Yeah, but I don't think at the time I, I didn't mind it. Like, yeah, it sucks. Like he's phenomenal. Like, do I like Baker Mayfield as a person and like as a competitor? Yes. As a quarterback to win me a game, would I much rather have Josh Allen than Baker Mayfield? Yeah, right. That's that's <laughs> yeah. not me trying to knock on Ma- Baker. I like Baker. He's very so you know, at his best. He's very good. But Josh is like you're so much. And I only ask. I only ask you that because there's another team that passed on him as well, and they're called the Denver Broncos. <laughs> and also, the New York Jets picked Sam Darnold <laughs> over him. The Giants picked Saquon Barkley, and the Browns picked Denzel Ward and Baker Mayfield before Josh Allen. So, which, which I mean, know, to be Ward, fair, Denzel Ward is an all pro, right? So, yeah, so I was just gonna pro. say that Ward turned out to be a great pick, right? 
Um, so, you know, you can't, you can't beat him up for that at all. He's a pro baller. Denver pick Chubb. It's been pretty good. Pro baller. Yeah. Uh, Indianapolis Colts, Quentin Nelson, also a pro baller right before mm-hmm. Allen. And, uh, but not the Jets. <laughs> and Barkley was a pro baller. So not too bad, right, in front of him. Yeah. I just think he's going to be a generational type talent. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, you keep in mind, like, he yeah. didn't, like, his first year or two, he, looked, he didn't look good at all. Yeah, he everyone just looked was, wrong. Everyone thought he, he was kind of going to be, be a bust. I mean, yeah. there, was, there was, like, after, I think, his first or second year, everyone was kind of like, well, he might be a bust. And then it was, like, either last yeah. or the year before where all of a sudden he, like, started to look really good. Because uh, he got accurate. Yep. Right? As soon as he got accurate. And he got, a, I mean, he's, and he got a couple of receivers, too, that has helped. He got digs, right, guys like that, that he didn't have that first year. So that was a big trade for them. Um, yeah. So anyway, I, I just wanted to we'll just throw that out there since the Broncos and the Browns passed on. Them, and we, yeah. and we, yeah, yeah look at, look at that. Yeah. But, uh, All right. Uh, yeah, uh, next let's week, make our picks we for this coming weekend. Conference championship weekend. It's uh both games are on Sunday. If you're not sure first game, it's uh, the same schedule as this past weekend. So three, three and six thirty PM. The first game, Cincinnati Bengals with Joe 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 Cool take on Patrick go. Mahomes in the Kansas City Chiefs in Kansas City. It's, yeah, it's hard place it's to play. Hard. Hey, hard to win there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard not to pick the Chiefs here. Yeah. But also, I mean, I I want to say there's something. Who won their first game? They both they played earlier this season. Who, in, in the 17. Bengals won, I believe. I don't know who was playing that game as far as starters, but I'm pretty sure the Bengals won. 34-31. Where, where was that yeah. at? Was that in Kansas City or? No, that I'm was sure. in Cincy. In Cincy. And again, I don't in know who Cincy. played and who didn't play. Week 17. Week 17, which, I mean, it was still the hitters. I think everyone played in that game. I kind of, now I'm yeah, I think, it had imp- I think it had implications. Um, yeah, because it was the people were trying to clinch. Yeah, Mahomes played the I, entire game. Yeah, I, I, it's tough to pick against them at home in the playoffs in an AFC Championship game. So I'm going Kansas City there, All unless right, they so get yes. a letdown week. <laughs> I man, I, I th- man, I, th- I think my heart really wants to pick Cincy here. I mean, look, I would be happy to see them win. I, I you think know it's what? a cool story. Cincy, Cincy. Fuck it. Since he wins, it's close. I think Joe throws like a, for a million yards. I don't. I think that their Kansas City secondary is not good. I think Joe's no. going to pick them apart. I think the Cincinnati defense does enough. I think it'll be a shootout for sure, which is yeah, cool. I, I, I like watching true. those games. Yeah, I'm thinking like a 35 28 type score easily. But I, I'll go KC there. All we'll right, so we'll alter our picks. We'll alter our picks. I'm taking since you're taking yeah. Um NFC Championship. San Francisco at the Los Angeles Rams. A battle of California. All give California. Me, uh, give me Matthew Stafford. I, I can't imagine they yeah. have four fumbles again and try to give the game away. Yeah, I'm going Rams there. I just again, I think the equalizer is their D line. It's just they have literally yeah, three pro bowlers on their D, <laughs> yeah. and Aaron Donald's the best player in the league. <laughs> and I, I don't think I, I don't necessarily dislike Garoppolo, but I don't think he does well with Aaron Donald and Von Miller sitting in his lap all that game. So yeah, and the other guy Lloyd, nobody even thinks about. He's a beast on the other end. Yeah, exactly. Great, great front four. So should be fun. Hopefully, Exciting I don't think it'll be this weekend, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I think I think yeah. there'll be some good games. So yeah. All right, Kenny. Anything else from you today, this week? Nah, man. That's it. No, no wrestling. Brockman was sick, and uh, then we're off next week. So we're going away. So uh, yeah. little little break from uh, Mr. Brock. He's not happy about there it. You, there you go. <laughs> well, Mr. Brock will hopefully get better soon. Uh, yeah. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff down below. We appreciate you watching. If you want us to keep doing the stuff, that lets us know if you're liking the videos. Uh, we will see you next week to talk about Super Bowl, I guess. Who's in it? Yeah. 
Who's up? All right, everyone. Peace out. See ya.